Hey everybody! Today on Rado Runsu, we are going to be playing the first chapter of Ticket to Ride Legends of the West. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, well, then welcome to the Eastern Seaboard, which is just waiting full of opportunities to uh, expand our train lines and score lots of points in classic Ticket to Ride style. Now I'm going to show you how this works today in a two player game. It's going to be me, the green player, versus Jen, the blue player. And you're in luck, folks. Since this is a legacy game, Jen wants to actually play it with me on camera. And she's going to be here in just a little bit, and we're going to play through an entire game. And once she's here, I'm not going to be able to talk strategy very much like I normally do, so I at least want to give you some idea of what I'm going to go for um, while Jen is getting ready. So, first of all, uh, the game plays almost the same as traditional Ticket to Ride. On your turn, you're going to draw two train cards, or one if you grab a locomotive card. You can claim routes, which pretty much functions the same, except for a couple of little changes. Or you can draw three and keep one ticket. And the game's going to keep going until somebody has pretty much run out of their trains, and then we tally up points. All righty. That's traditional Ticket to Ride, but there are some tweaks. First of all, when you actually want to claim a route, well, ultimately, as the campaign goes on and we unlock more functions as the story advances, we are going to be getting all kinds of things happening. But in this first chapter, two things happen when we claim a route. If it's our color, we activate our bonus card. Here's Jen's that says, every time she completes a blue line, no matter what its length is, she gets two points. Alrighty. And me, I'm the same. I'm the green player, so I get green points. This is a big change from traditional Ticket to Ride, folks, where players would get more points the longer the line. And you didn't really care what about the color, but now we very much care about the colors. I want to be doing green um, lines, because that's one of the main ways I can get points. The other way, of course, is to complete tickets, and that hasn't really changed at all. There's one other thing. It says, hey, get your points if it was your color line. And two, if you connected to a large city... You want to zoom in here a little bit more. If you connect to a large city, draw a card blind from the draw pile. So if you connect to New Orleans, but not Mobile or Nashville, but um, Pittsburgh instead of Detroit, hey, you get an extra card for connecting into that zone. So that's another new rule. Now, this is just the beginning. Well, as you can see, folks, more rules will come online as we play through the campaign. There is so much uh, to unlock. We're just giving you a basic idea of the first. And if you want to know about the story and the setting, hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow links down in the show notes because I also did an unboxing and setup video where I set the stage, showed you what all is in the box. There's a lot of stuff in the box, folks. And I kind of gave you a guided tour of all that while setting up and reading the story settings and whatnot. As it is, we are just here to claim routes and score points while also, as it happens, solving a mystery. For the first time in Ticket to Ride, there's a mystery afoot. Uh, but again, go watch the unboxing setup video if you want to know more about that. Now, Jen's about to get here, but I just wanted to take a second to say... I kept all four of my starting tickets. It's a bit risky, but I figured I should risk it because you can't get as many points for completing routes. So I thought I'd risk it. Jen, by the way, kept three tickets. I don't know what they are, but I really like this because I have a long one from Savannah all the way up to Quebec. So I got to make this, because if I don't do it, I'm going to lose 10 points. So you know I want to finish that. But hey, once I've done that, all the other ones branch off it really nicely. I also had um, Savannah to Baltimore, right? And Baltimore's not too far off the beaten path. So that made sense. I had Buffalo to Baltimore. And once I'm in Baltimore, hey, I could come up this way, or from Baltimore, I could come up this way through Buffalo. So I figured, well, I'm going to try and make a line like that all the way up there. And that was my other one. Oh, um, Albany to Banger. Because, hey, once I've made it all the way up to Quebec, I am right next to Banger and Albany. So if I can just connect those up there, uh, if I can pull all this off, that is 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 22 points. If if I can pull it off. And I'm a little nervous about that, folks. We will see how it goes. Now, I should keep these face down, but Jen promised she wouldn't look, and I trust her. So I'm just going to leave them face up as a reminder to myself and to you what it is I am trying to do. Okay, so with that in mind, I know 
with my starting hand of very multicolored cards where I didn't get any locomotives, I didn't get any multiples, but I know I want green cards because if I complete green lines, that's extra points. I am the first player and right out of the gate, I'm going to grab these greens. So with this other green, if Jen doesn't block me, I'm going to try and uh, snake this between Banger and Albany and then try and just do all of this really quick because um, in a two or three player game, if somebody takes one of the double lines, the other one is gone. So I want to get these green lines before Jen cuts them off. Fingers crossed. An interesting thing, these triple lines, even in a two-player game, all of them are available. So we'll never get blocked out of those. But I want to get this done as quick as I can. There's just a lot of little short things that Jen might do. And then once I've done that, I've got different ways to get all the way down to Savannah. So that is my overall strategy. Fingers crossed. I hope it works, folks. Although I don't like my chances because Jen is a shark. Uh, and speaking of Jen, hold on, and she'll be joining us in in just a second. And as promised, here she is. Hi, honey pie. Hello. 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 Okay, Hello. folks, what's actually going to happen now is I'm going to leave the room for a second so Jen can tell you about her starting hand and her starting tickets okay. and what it is that she's trying to do. And um, when she's done, I've shown her where the pause button is <laughs> so she'll come and get me. And in the meantime, yep. I'm just going to go check my mail. Okay. I, uh, the floor is yours. Thanks. The table is mine, actually. The room is mine now. <laughs> Okay, so I think you can see my cards from here. And I think really the only important thing is the city names and the the routes. So I got really lucky and three of my routes on my starting hand overlap. So I've got Mobile to Charlotte, Mobile to Boston, and Boston to Baltimore. So really I have got a very um, concise strategy to just basically go along the East Coast. Um, I'm sure he told you already that if he takes this blue or with a white or with a blue, I can't get in there. So that is actually going to be my first move because I have a blue card. So that's my number one thing I've got to do when we get started. I also got lucky and got a, oop, there we go, do it right side up, a locomotive in my starting hand, which is a wild. So that's pretty cool. All right, that is my plan. I'm sure you know what his plan is, and we will get him back in and get started. Okay, folks, I am back, and uh, I cannot wait to hear Jen's plan after the fact that will <laughs> likely destroy me. The last thing to resolve is who is the first player. Typically, I am the first player most of the time when Jen yeah. and I play, especially our first time, and this is our first time playing this, uh, because it gives me an opportunity to teach more of the game by doing. However, we both played a fair bit of Ticket to Ride. So Jen feels pretty confident uh, she could go first this time. So it is time to randomize things. One green enters, one blue enters, only one leaves. What's it gonna be? I don't know. I'm really, I'm really uh, shaking them around, so I don't know which one is which. Jen is second. Sorry, that means you're second. Did I not make that? Oh yeah. Jen is the first player. Okay, so you actually take the caboose. But we'll just leave it over here. Um, we'll just have to remember that you were the first player because I laid everything out as if I was going to be the first player. Arg! Anyway, so off you go, honey pie. Okay. And you know the draw cards, claim a route, or get more tickets. I'm claiming a route. All righty. Just like I told the nice people I was going to. Well, she did not waste any time. She has frozen me out of this space, Baltimore to Nor Norfolk. And because it was blue, she gets two points. So she went from five to seven. And because she connected to a major city, Ooh. she gets an extra card. Can I draw any card? I uh, no, it's when you're doing this city connection thing, you draw blind. Okay. All right. And it is now my Can turn. Can I show the nice people what I got? Sure. I'm looking away. Look at that, guys. I'm betting she just got a locomotive, didn't she? <laughs> I don't think she'd be that excited about a yellow. Maybe it was a blue. <laughs> or it could have been a blue, but I'm betting she just got a locomotive. Oh, all right. I got all a right. locomotive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course she did. Okay, so it's my turn. So I could go claiming routes, but I'm going to go draw some cards. Because I love green. I'm going to say, hey, give me another green, please. And then another one comes out. And uh, say, hey, give me a green, please. And another one comes out. All right. Your turn, honey pie. Okay. I am also going to just play my locomotive <sighs> and grab this line, which is a... Can I, I get the blue? Ooh, that's a good question. It says, collect two every time you claim a... Yeah, you just claimed... Yeah, you just got two points. Okay, and then I just connected to Philadelphia. Uh, yep, so you just I drew get... another card. And let me guess, another locomotive? You're not... She's not <laughs> this time she's not saying. Okay. 
Uh, it is my turn. I have now done this, put in the time. Uh, hopefully it will pay off. I am playing those two green cards I got last time yeah. to claim the route from Banger to Boston. All right. All righty. And I just connected to, oh, and I got two points because that was a green line. And I just connected to Boston, so I get another Ooh, card. I didn't get my second two points for that. Uh, yes, you did. Got to watch this lady like a hawk, oh, folks. You um, gave me two points. Yes, I did. Then I'm going to take a two, a tour. All right. So uh, that was my turn. It is your turn. Okay. I am a gonna. Gonna, mana? I'm gonna play three blacks. She is not messing around. Oh, no. No. A... No, no. Not Norfolk to Carlston. Yes. Of course. I'm sorry. Thereby, there went one of my chances to score green points. Yep. Sorry about that, hon pa. All righty. But I didn't get any of that or that. And it wasn't a blue line. <laughs> yes, you took my green line. All right, but that's okay. That's okay. That's the way the ticket rides. All righty. I am going to play another green, which I happen to have in my hand right from the get-go, to claim Boston to Albany. That oh. is two points, even though it's a tiny little one. That it's is two points. And I draw another card. Okay. Okay. Oh, Breaking news, everyone. It's the Railroad Herald. Uh, remember, as part of setup, there are six of these spread randomly through the deck. With more players, there'd be fewer of them. It says, draw the next event, or in this case, the first event, put it into play, discard this, and then draw a replacement card. So I am getting another card, which is... There, that. All right. Although she could have seen that, but that's okay. I just had my eyes closed. It's our open. first event, folks. I, and neither Jen nor I have looked. I believe there are seven cards in this deck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm willing to bet, legacy style, more events will appear as we head west, young, young uh, people. So anyway, let's shuffle up one more time. What is our first event? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Mama O'Connell issues a fee for her rails. While this card is visible, you must discard an additional train card of any color to claim gray routes. Okay. So the Cincinnati to Nashville, the New York to Buffalo, you got to pay an extra for those. Mama O'Connell, by the way, folks, is another railroad baron who is embroiled in mystery. She's been accused of murdering the biggest rail baron of the era. And everybody's looking for her, and so etc. etc. There's all kinds of stuff going on. So anyway, this will stay in effect until we draw another newspaper card, which could be right away or might be till halfway through the deck that we have to pay extra to get into the universal. Oh, there's also one from Boston to Montreal. Okay. Um, and if we were later in the game and we had expanded more to the west, you'd see there'd be a neutral one down here as well. But Right now, we're just on the eastern seaboard because it's still the first chapter. I am done. It is your turn. Honey pie. I'm going to be a bit saucy. Oh, God. Where is she getting these things? And I'm taking the green line to be saucy about it. Oh, this. wow. She could have taken any of those. I know. But I think I draw two cards now, don't I? Yes, you do. No. No, you don't. The rules are very clear. Even oh. when you do a double connect like that, you only get one. Okay. Nice try. All right. Why is she getting all the... All right, my turn. I am going to not get any points by connecting this yellow line from Banger to Quebec. And I get nothing for that other than, obviously, I want to get to Quebec. I, yes, <laughs> That's I a pretty safe bet. Yeah. All right, so that was my turn. Okay, I'm going to take some cards. Yep. Some cards, darling. Yes. And so if there were any rail railroad wilds out here, she could take that and only that. Yep. But since it, her first card isn't a railroad, she could take two. Drawing blind, drawing from here, or either or. And every time you take one of these, another one is revealed immediately before you draw your second one. Okay, I'm going to take a Lello. All right. And? Ooh. Um, is this the first time you've drawn cards? Yeah. Jeez. Because I got rid of Because those like cities, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, I am also going to draw... Hmm. <clears throat> I think I will take a red. All right. And oh. Oh, another All bonus. righty. Breaking news, everyone. Uh, Mama O'Connor's fees are over. And now it's Lewisburg puts out contracts. When this card is drawn, any player who has claimed one or more routes to into Lewisburg gets five bucks. Where's Lewisburg? Right here. Okay. Well. And so, and this could be the first event that happens in every game. Yeah. So, unbeknownst to us, Lewisburg, if, as one of only seven events, yeah. is an incredibly important thing. You want to be, I mean, because if neither of us have done it, so nobody gets five points. Mm. Um, and this has a lightning bolt, so it was just an instant. So that is, 
That is surprising. I mean, that's that's a huge swing. Well, maybe it's not. We'll see what points are like at the end of the game. But anyway, so nobody took advantage of that because nobody knew we had to get to Lewisburg immediately. But now you folks know, if you pick this up, bear in the back of your minds and don't tell any of your opponents that Lewisburg <laughs> is by far the most important thing to connect to as fast as possible because of random luck. All right, so that was your turn, right? It is my turn. All righty. Oh, I like green. Mm -hmm. I do like green. Mm -hmm. And I think I like yellow. Lello. Oh, there's green more. I do like more greens. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play a red and... Uh, what, single red? Yeah. And you're going to do that? Nope, I'm going to do this. And draw Ooh, the card. okay. All right. And uh, yeah, one more card, yes. All right, my turn. I am going to mana play two Mayellas. And I'm going to connect from Albany to Buffalo. And I would think Buffalo is a big city, but apparently not. All right. My route is starting to uh, come into focus, everybody. That was it for me. Okay. And uh, one thing I got to say right off the bat, I so much more like the uh, not scoring points on every single route. Yeah. And forgetting to, to do it. And right, well, was that a three or a four? And it's just so fiddly. Yep. This is so much nicer. Um, plus, I mean... I can't imagine there's ever anybody who has ever played Ticket to Ride where the first time they played, they didn't keep stumbling over, but wait, I'm a green player, so I want these green lines. And of course, no, you don't. You just want the longest lines possible. And like, but now you do. You want, I mean, so right off the bat. Although, man, if you'd gotten five points just out of dumb luck and I hadn't, I would have been pretty pissed about that. Folks, um, this is our first time playing, so I'm not going to be able to give you final thoughts in a traditional way. I'm just going to be giving you thoughts as I go. <laughs> He's going to just give you thoughts. I'm just going to give you some color commentary. <laughs> we do have plans for final thoughts, though, folks. Links for them are down in the show notes, and I'm very excited to have uh, a guest appearance uh, who has already finished the campaign. We'll have a lot more than we will to say. We're just showing you the basics. Uh, we're setting up for the main event. So it's okay. your turn, Levi. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this blue. She loves blue. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take this. A blind? Blind. All right. So, um, <clears throat> what do I need to do now? I need to, I need to look at my what's-its again. Your goals? My goals and my things. Right, because I need to do that and that. And normally I'd be able to articulate it out loud, but I can't trust Jen not to be polite. I totally forgot. Okay. I remember. You can't trust I, me to not be polite. I, I remember my plans now. I remember my plans. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. Well, what am I going to do? I would like to start getting free cards like you keep getting because I'm just messing around in all these little podunk towns. Um, but Let's just get lucky like you've been doing so far and just draw two, uh, two wilds, right? That's what we're going to do. That's not what we did. <laughs> <laughs> we did quite the opposite of that, I have to say, unfortunately. Okay, but I'm, I'm done. You're up. Okay. Buttercup. Oh, my buttercupy. I'm going to go ahead and um, play a yellow and go to... Yes. Beautiful Savannah. All right. No bonuses for you. I am gonna mana play two blues. Oh, I like blues. Yep. And I am going to uh, connect Pittsburgh to Baltimore. All right. And draw and, a card. And draw a card. Not two, just one. Show me the wild. Mm. Indeed. That could have been a happy mmm, but probably wasn't. <laughs> Here's my current hand, folks. I'm, All not, right. I'm not looking. It's fine. Yeah, because I, by the way, I, I know it's been years since we played, honey. Mm -hmm. You remember, you can go anywhere. You could jump right over here and grab this. You do not have to expand from what you've already done. Yeah, I know. I mean, you want to because you got tickets you need to fulfill, but you don't have to. I got tickets I need to fulfill. Catchy tune. Yep, it's a good one. All right, I am going to just do something. Yes, I am. 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 I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm, well, let's you see. could, instead of claiming routes, yeah. instead of drawing cards, you could draw three and keep one ticket. If you're feeling good. Remember, the game goes until somebody is down to two or fewer cards. And then I believe we cards. finish, or, or, or cars, cars, not cards. And then we finish that round and I think play one more turn, if I recall correctly. Okay, well, I'm going to draw a card. Right, uh, that's your first one. And then that's your second. 
Okay, my turn. Um, I say I'm going to play one green and go from Lewisburg to mm. Pittsburgh, and that's a big city, nice. and that gives me two points, and it draws me a card. Cool. Okay, oh, breaking news, wow. everybody. So I'm going to get my other card so I don't forget. Okay, All righty. And, um, well, it's, it's these always say the same thing, which oh. is forget about the old event. It's time for a oh. new event. Okay. All right. And the new event is bank pays you dividends. When this card is drawn, each player collects three bucks for each completed ticket that they then reveal. Oh, wow. And then hide your tickets afterwards. Oh, well, so, again, this is something that could definitely help one player more than another. I know I've done one. Um, I, or I think I have. I haven't done that one. Yeah, I've got one. Uh, right. Or, 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 uh, yes, I have done one. I have done Banger to Albany. I've done Boston to Baltimore. All right, so we both get three bucks through to the random fortune. All right, you're taking yours. And so that was the event. And then I still went ahead and got... That'd be an easy thing to do. I mean, you know, if some big event happens... So I would say, folks, before you do the big event, finish drawing your hand. Because I know I drew my extra card, but I would hate to have forgotten to do that. Okay, it is, and that was my turn. It is your turn. Okay. Well, I feel that... Damn, if I'd done something different last turn, I would have had three more dollars. Oh. So close. So close. So... Actually, you did just say something like, "If you want to do something to something, you I could do this to... right now." Yeah. Okay. That's kind of yep. cool. Yeah, I know it's so standard. In the majority of games we play, you always have to expand from what you've done, yeah. but that has never been the ticket to ride because it don't care. It don't care. My board game don't All right, care. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just do an easy peasy lemon squeezy, and thereby freezing me out of my sweet sweet greens free again. Draw. Painful. All right, so I'm going to draw some cards because I love green. Yes, I do. And do I love anything else, uh -huh. too? You get yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You know what it is, yep. right? Oh, oh. And but I can't have can't that. Take it, but I can't I will. have that. Oh. Well, that means you take your whole turn just to take one, though. That's true. And how come I can't draw these blind? Like, if I drawn that blind first and then taken the green, but of course I didn't. Oh. Um, right, so what other colors do I need? Mm, I need this and that. And the other, I really need, yeah, I'm going to draw blind and get lucky or not. Okay, I'm done. So, yes, you could take this, but that would be you just take one because when they're face up, you just take one as opposed to taking two. And I can't draw one and then take that either. Dang it. Um... I am just gonna take it. Okay, so what you, you just took it. That was your whole turn, just to yep. take one. Yep. Oh. And if you draw drawn blind, oh, I know the feeling. <sighs> and well, I drew now, blind, and I didn't get that. All righty. Well, now you know it equally goes both. Knowing ways. is half the battle. Mm. I'm gonna play two greens, and uh, move into Savannah. Okay. Which doesn't get me any extra cards because Savannah and Atlanta are teeny tiny. But anyway, I think that puts me. Uh, all right, so that's uh, two, four. Two plus two plus one is five, and then those two fives are a ten. Ooh, all right, and ten too. Yeah, all right. Woohoo! All right, so anyway, that was it. That was my higgity piggity tiggity turn. All right. Well. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna draw. Dang it! And now you can't, can't. take this because you, nope. you can only take it if it was your first card. Okay. All right, my turn. Um, I'm just going to. Ooh, what do I want to do? Are you going to poo? I'm going to foo. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, all right, I'm going to double check, make sure I'm doing everything I need to do. All right, that's fine. And where are you? You're, right, I need to do that. That's what I need to do. I need to do that very much. Um, ooh, do I just take that wild and just be sure? I, I'm going to, because I don't want to mess around. And there we go. And I would not have wanted that, so I'm not complaining. Okay, doke. No complaining. No complaining. By the way, folks, you may recall in Ticket to Ride, there is no hand limit. So you just keep drawing and drawing until you can make the super turns. Although right now, there's only two super lines on the whole planet. And it's not like they're worth super points. This one is worth two to her. This one is worth nothing to me. Although here's the deal. If I'm paying attention, 
I know she wants to do this and I should be doing this just to make her have to work hard to go around because that's how you play cutthroat ticket to ride if you're so inclined. And Jen just shakes her head sagely, nods her head knowingly. Although it's interesting, I guess it's a little bit less attractive because, hey, even if I didn't want to do this, I want to do this because I can see it's obviously important to her and I'd get a lot of points for this. But now in this game, I would not get a lot of points for this. I'd yeah. stop you from getting two points, two but more points. importantly, I'd stop you from doing your thing. So well, yeah, this one little change. Around. Yeah, it just means you have to work harder and you were probably one step away from this. And you know, there's all those kinds of things that you have to worry about. Mm -hmm. So that is interesting. This one little color change really makes it feel very different. At least, although I haven't played the game for years. What do so you mean know. color change? I mean, the, 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 the fact the that you, you, that you he... score your colors, not that you score right. the length of the line. Yep, yep. Although, who knows? Later in the campaign, maybe we will. Because remember, folks, eventually there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten additional things that we will consider every time we claim a route. We're just on the baby steps at the moment. Yep. Okay, well, I think I am going to play a blue and a wild. And where are you going? I'm going to go... Well, I think a double blue line is where you're going to go. That is my guess. What do you mean a double blue line? Uh, because you played a blue and a wild. Yeah. So you're going to go there. You're going to go there. You're going to go there. Yeah, I was just looking. There aren't any blue. Or there. I mean, you could do that too. But I think I'm going to go here because it allows me to draw another card. It does let you draw another card. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. All righty. I am going to use that yellow and that aforementioned wild that I got and just uh, go on ahead and connect Buffalo to Lewisburg, which I know any of you uh, Ticket to Ride sharks out there would have just been cutting me off at the chase, and I do get to draw one card. All right. Okay. And now I am going to... How do I do this? Now the final stretch is the hardest stretch. So we've got... Two, I four, am... Uh, yeah. Six. I've got... Nine left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Oh dear. And again, I was just going to look this up. The game ends when one player's stock of trains is reduced to two or less. At the end of their turn, each player, including that player, gets one final turn. So this is not the type of, hey, we actually pay attention to who was the first player. In fact, it doesn't matter for, well, it does matter for getting to go first, of course. So I'm you're drawing, drawing blind, and what else are you drawing? And... Now, there's nothing you folks might have noticed and wondering, well, what is all this about? Hey, um, okay. why do some cards have pickaxes and some cards have scary skulls on them? We don't know. But what I can tell you is, folks, at some point, we're probably going to open this box and um, I look at this cross thing and I think maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know. I'm totally guessing. There's a lot of boxes to open here. There's a lot um, of boxes in the box. Yep. When we finish the first game, we are going to get to uh, the first thing. After I think after we score points, we, we have paused and it says, hey, read this card during step three of the game end. Although, uh, fa sadly, I will not be able to do that for you folks today because we are under embargo and we can't do the reveal the spoilers for it. But anyway, you, you drew two cards. Is I it my do. turn? Yep. Okay. Oh, I do not like my hand. Sam, I am. I'm going to draw blind. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to draw blind again. Okay. And I'm less happy with that. Okay. I have finally got oh. some blue cards. I seriously thought about grabbing this. No, here. I know. Yeah. And if I grab this, yeah. then two. you would not be doing this now. All right. So there's two points Three. for you. Four. I don't understand. Why wouldn't I be doing that now? Because... If last turn, I if I could have grabbed this for a while... Remember, I, I joked about it, and I was... I, oh. I have some white in my hand. Okay. I could have stopped you from doing that, and that's the cutthroat nature of Ticket to Ride that I've never been too fond of. Okay, so you gave me my two points, but I, I didn't did. go to a green city. That so. is correct. You're, yeah, you did not go to a big city. But By the way, you'll notice, folks, there's also port cities. I'm sure that'll have some meaning at some point. Who knows? Who does know? Who knows? We sure don't know. Okay, so I need to do that, and I need to do that, and that. So do I do that, and that, or that, and that? <sighs> There's ways I could do this, and ways within ways that I could do this. And I want to do it with green routes, if at all possible. So do I keep drawing, or do I start building? I keep drawing. Okay. You don't get any points at the end for having lots of cards in your hand, do you? No, 
No, no. You don't lose points, you don't get points. Also, the the old lo- whoever has the longest route doesn't exist. There's oh. no points for that. Well, shoot, because I've got the longest route. Well, I'm working on a long route too, but right. it doesn't matter. Um, at least yet. And presumably, once the West expands, people will start caring about long lines. So, okay, I drew one blind, and now I am going to draw one more blind. Okay, okay. so what is it? I forego my turn and draw three. Your, your whole one? turn will be draw three and keep... One, I think you said. Um, draw three, keep at least one. At least you one? You could keep all three. Wow! If you think you're going to pull them off. Um, and remember, if you keep them and don't do them, you lose those points instead of gain those points. Stupid don't all right, go this might take Jen a else. bit, so we're going to go ahead and pause and give her some time to think, folks. Be right back. Thank you. Okay, how many are you keeping? I'm keeping two. Right, so the one you did not keep goes to the bottom of the deck, and that was your turn. Yep. Okay, I am... And also, I'm now wishing that I'd kept my original fourth one. Yep, well, I guess I didn't make a mistake keeping all four of mine. Um, This is the first game, of course, so it is probably going to be a little bit easier going than a traditional. And plus, we're not particularly cutthroat about cutting each other off as it happens, even when the opportunity so very in our face presents itself. Mm. Um, I'm just going to go on ahead and just get it done with two greens to connect here to here, and that gave me two points. Nice. Boom, boom. So there's another five. Okay. And I'm going to spend two greens. Where are all those greens? go from here to there oh man okay um and then i'm just gonna spend one yellow and connect that and i get nothing for it nothing and i'm down to four once i put two more on the round or on the board you will take one more turn and then i will take one more turn of course you're down to three so once you put one more on the board i will take one more turn and you will take one more turn so there's that okay so i'm gonna draw what i think that was my turn wasn't it I think I just put that down. Because th- you did this and I did that. I and now it's think, your turn. yes, I think you're right. I think it is my turn. Because I was just looking to see, hey, am I going to. You didn't and... see what I was going to draw, did you? Uh, no, I did not. Good. Well, I did, but I, I'm searching my memory banks and I do not recall. <laughs> um, memory banks are blank. Blank, yeah. So the question is do I try and go and get some more tickets like Jen did? A spoiler alert, I've finished all four of mine now. I'm done with the game. I should just end it before Jen has a chance to finish whatever she was trying to do. That is what I should do. And that is what I'm going to do. I am going to play two blues. And I am going to try to cut off... Again, I I don't feel good about it. Wow. Um, So, Jen obviously cares about one of these two blues. Probably. And I got a 50-50 chance of guessing which one she cares about. I know, honey pie. Ticket to ride can be cutthroat. I'm going to go there. And a 50-50 chance on whether I... So I have one... I have just right. this turn? So I, we are down to two. And I know, folks, you're gasping. What? Rotto would do such a thing? I'm not happy about it, folks, but that's ticket to ride. All righty. Um, when one player's so- uh, supply of trains is down to zero, one, or two at the end of their turn, it is. Each player, including that player, gets one final turn. So this is your final turn, Honey Pie. Well, I can't do it then because I, I am have to sorry. be able to draw. I am sorry. And I, I take no pleasure in this, folks. I feel terrible. I feel awful. Because you know, Jen's, anyway, Jen's a big girl. That's she can cost handle me it. Nine points. Wow. Yep. So I just so by doing that, I won the game basically. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Yep. Uh, I am sorry, and I. It's not like I rejoice in this. I feel bad, but I am doing um, what the game insists I do to up my chances of winning. Um, So, if you can at least get two more points off of another blue. I can't. uh, Because you don't have the blues, obviously. I was going to pick up this white and then go over here. Oh, okay. So, I didn't really affect you at all. No, that doesn't. Other than just ending the game. All right. Yeah. I'm sorry, honey pie. I feel I, bad about it. I can't. I, th- there's nothing I can do. Um, I just picked up two things. Well, okay. The only thing I can think of is draw blind because maybe you'll trigger an event. I mean, there there's more event cards in here. All right. And maybe something will happen. I don't know. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yep. And you did. Okay, folks. This is Jen's Hail Mary. Woohoo! 
Um, Reeves Rail Restructures. When this car, well, this car is visible, you may play white train cards as locomotives. Wow. Wow. White cards are wild, and you have so you have three wilds. Jeez. But that's too late. Yep. And is it my turn? And I have two white. So I will try, play these as a wild and um, go on ahead and just get two more points. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry, Honey Pie. I really crushed you there. Thanks to an event that you triggered. That's luck. Okay, folks. So um, the game is over. And now we must determine the wiener. Okay. Mm -hmm. Coins in. All right. Okay. Oh, wait. oh, and I remember. Where are they? Apparently, we tally them on this banknote. And we each get a banknote for each chapter of the game. And, oh, all righty. So, duck. Right, oh, okay. So, Tiny, I can't read them. All righty. So, what year was this? This was the first year of the game, which is 1865. All righty. Coins in hand. I've got uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next up, uh, a bonus for trains remaining. I have no trains, so that is a bonus of 16. And then final, my total ticket value, I did all four of them. I had to connect from Savannah all the way up here and do a couple little side things. So that is uh, 22. So that is 42, uh, 58 for me. Okay, and the honey pie, how many coins do you have? You have 16, it looks mm -hmm. like? Yep. All righty, bonus for, tra for trains remaining, you have three, so that means you get seven. And your total tickets, pro and con. I am so sorry, Honey Pie. Oh, this sucks. I know. It sucks. Well, That's you know, tell you what, what, let's just say you kept one. Because, again, you have not played this for years. No, you knew, you would, I took a whole turn. I know. No, and that's then what, I lost I'm saying, nine points. I know. Your risk, you, were, you knew it was risky to do this because I didn't have any trains left. So with that in mind, knowing I could have triggered the end very quickly and you just weren't thinking about that, it would have been wise to have only taken one it instead of two. It doesn't matter. It was the same. It was the oh, they were the bonus. Oh, you kept them both because, to yeah, Detroit to New York. Two. Yeah, okay. So, it, so it it's nine, minus nine plus, um, so 14, 15, 16, 17, minus nine is eight. Yep. Ouch. That really hurts. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, but that's Ticket to Ride for you. 18... 65. I did get lucky and have three tickets that worked beautifully together. Yep. Well, also, I mean, not for nothing, you gave me luck by making an event happen that only helped me and not you. Yeah. And it turns out it couldn't have helped you. So strictly speaking, you shouldn't have done that, knowing you probably wouldn't have gotten a chance to take advantage of it, and I could have. So that would have been two less points I would have had if that event happened. Yeah. So, yeah, out of curiosity, what are the other events? Uh, when this card is drawn, shuffle the event. Okay. Show right. them to everybody. Okay. Um, oh, uh, folks, hold on. We're going to show you the rest of them because uh, it's spoilers. Because honestly, with the benefit of hindsight, I would not have played this game without having looked at all these first. And I would recommend everybody playing this game know what is in this event deck, all seven of the cards, before you play. So you understand how important Lewisburg is. You understand how important white cards are. Because, I mean, that, that, those are hugely swingy events. Uh, um, and you understand how important it is and you know whatever these other ones are. So in case you don't want anything more spoiled, we won't show them yet. We'll do that at the end. But first of all, let's just finish the scoring. Okay. All right. Coins and hands. All right. So total ticket value, blah, blah. Uh, other things we will score points for later. I'm sure one of them is longest line and who knows what else. Uh, we, all right. Add everything on their bank slip. Uh, player with the most dollars wins. Do not clean up the game yet, folks. No cleaning. If there was a tie, the tiebreaker would have been whoever finished more tickets. And if it was a, if there was a further breaker, it would have been whoever went later in turn order. I guess because you're less likely to have as many turns, probably. Uh, but anyway, or plus you're also having to come yeah, after everybody else. Everybody so you're having to deal with other people getting their ahead of you. The caboose. The player who came in last gets the caboose and puts it in their box. Mm -hmm. So Honey Pie, next time we play, you will be the first player. I was the first player this time in. Yep, and it didn't help. All righty. Um, so we do that. Caboose. Someone miss a game? Oh, no, this is really interesting. It is possible to play through the 12 chapters of this and have some of your 
group say, oh, I can't make it tonight, and you can play anyway. Oh, that's cool. And apparently, the game works out just fine that, you know, uh, Rachel couldn't make the third game, and she came back for the fourth. Don't worry. If she missed the third game, um, she'll still score points in some way to make up for that that presumably is fair and balanced. But we won't know what that is until the end of the game. Now, there's one more thing, folks. Um, oh, yeah. Retire an event... So, the player who has the caboose card, so the player who lost, you get a benefit. Choose one event that was played in the discard pile and retire it. It is removed from the game. If we were playing Pandemic, you'd rip it up. But this game says, no, 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 just put it in the dead letter office because <laughs> uh, people complain about ripping up cards. It will no longer appear in any future game. In the rare case that that got rid of all the cards, no events are retired. And then check the pause card. So, one of these three, honey, is removed forever. The... Um, you can play white cards as wilds. You get dividends for everything you finished, but when it came up, Lewisburg and Mama makes it more expensive to go on grays. Um, well, I think Mama makes it more expensive. All right. Let's get rid of that one. All right. Because uh, it's nice to know about white and Lewisville. She's an alleged murderer, so we don't like her anyway. She goes into the dead, the dreaded, dead letter office. All right. So that happens. That's a benefit for losing is you can try to uh, make things better for you in the future. And now clean up or play again. Players uh, place all their other components in the box or play again. But there is one more thing, folks. Remember I mentioned this earlier that if you watch the intro and setup, you watched me go through the story where we introduced the story of the bloody rails and all of that. It says right here, read the back of this card during step three of game end. And um, where is step three? We're in step one, step two, right. So yes, it was check the pause card. The pause card says very clearly, read the back of this. And I have a letter from the publisher saying, you are not allowed to read this on <laughs> camera because it's apparently a really big deal and we're very excited about it, and we want everybody to be surprised. So, folks, we are not going to... And Jen and I, we have no idea what it is either. Nope. We'll be doing that off camera. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's it. Otherwise, folks, because we would set up and play. I'm sure that thing will tell us to open some boxes, and maybe, the, maybe we'll get the panhandle out, and we can start expanding down here, and who knows what else will change. But that will be a story for another day, because that was one quick run-through of Ticket to Ride's Legends of the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not done yet, folks, because I promised you'd get to see the other events, right? Um, bring him coming back on screen over here. Actually, you don't even need to do that. Here they are. Uh, restructures. When this car is visible, white cards are locomotives. So we saw that one. Uh, bank. Oh, no, these are the ones we saw, right? So where were the other ones? Here are the other ones we did not see. New Horizon. When this car is drawn, shuffle this event with the event deck and, dis and discard pile. What if this had come... Oh, no, this one can't have come... You couldn't have removed this because this goes away. This is the reset the deck. We could have had two oh. events, and then this could have said, hey, anything's possible. So nothing happens, basically, except resetting the deck. Railway improvements. While this card is visible, before drawing a train card, you can discard all the train cards in the display and draw five new ones. That's huge. That's a big deal. And Reeves Rail needs assistance. While this card is visible, if you claim a white route, collect two. Which is extra good if you're the white player, because you get four points. Wow. Okay. Plus white was wild. So. Is what is white a player color? No, white is not a player color. That's why. Why we no player is white. Oh, gotta come back to the overhead point of view, folks. Um there is a red player, a blue player, a red, um, yellow, green, a blue, red, black. and a black. White is Reeves Rail, who you know is ah. the 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 head of Reeves Rail was murdered by uh, suspected by uh, uh, Mama O'Connell and all that. So that's why the nobody ever wants to go for whites. Okay. But that's why all of a sudden whites can become wild. So that makes sense. And it's also why, hey, completing whites can... Because we're, we're filling in for Reeves um, after their untimely demise. So some of these I like. Yeah. Some of these I don't like. But again, folks, I would definitely recommend, before playing your first game, make sure everybody around the table understands all six things that could happen and plan accordingly. Go to Lewisburg immediately. Don't be frozen out of that. Yeah, keep a couple of whites in your hand. Keep a couple of whites in your hand. Ensure that your um, you, you finish your shortest route immediately, because if I mean, you know, if I'd done it and you hadn't, you know, so these events. Alrighty. Anyway, though, folks. Once again, we are out of here. 
And so you can go on ahead and hear those final thoughts from special guest star and regular contributors to the channel, Amy and Maggie of Thinker Themer. They finished the whole campaign, and I'm sure they've got some stuff to say. So, folks, again, hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the links down in the show notes to the final thoughts or the setup if you wanted to see all that in the unboxing. Your choice in five, four, three, two, one.